Hello, I'm Dr. Gerald Chodak and this is ProstateVideos.com. In this video I want to talk about the radical retropubic prostatectomy. This operation is the oldest form of performing treatment or surgery for men with localized prostate cancer. And over the years significant improvements have been made. The operation involves making a cut in the skin from just below the belly button down to the pubic bone. So it's about four to six inches long. The operation involves removing the entire prostate along with both seminal vesicles and a portion of the vas deferens. In some cases, doctors can also at least check the lymph nodes or remove them during the same operation. That is its main advantage compared to say the perineal approach or to the robotic operation. Doctors are able to feel inside your body rather than having other instruments or not having access to the lymph nodes, which occurs with the perineal approach. In terms of which one is best, well, doctors are not sure. There are advantages and disadvantages to each. The most important thing is to find a surgeon who has good experience because studies have shown that if a doctor does fewer than 20 per year, there's a greater risk of having complications. Who's a good candidate for this operation? Well, any man with localized disease who has at least a 10 or 15 year life expectancy and is able to undergo an anesthetic. The anesthetic that's used can either be a general or a spinal or epidural anesthetic in which you're numb from the waist down. In my own experience, the epidural anesthetic has fewer side effects and complications and less blood loss. The main disadvantage of this operation, aside from the side effects, is the possibility of, le of losing blood. There's a greater blood loss with the retropubic approach than with the other methods that we have available. The complications otherwise are pretty similar. Men can have problems with erections or with urinary control. And those occur usually right after the operation and may get better with time. We tell men that it can take up to a year or even longer for, for urinary control and sexual function to improve. But the likelihood of those recur, re, recovering completely will depend on many factors. Importantly, your age, your health, and the doctor who's doing the treatment. The question that has been uh, addressed or raised is whether or not the retropubic is as good, better, or worse than the other methods available. And at the present time, there's no good proof that any one method is better than any other method in terms of controlling the cancer or reducing side effects. The side effects that can also occur with this operation include a shortening of the penis by an average a half a centimeter, some men will complain of developing a hernia as a result of the surgery, and some men also complain of pain with an orgasm, which can occur after the operation is done. Be aware that after the prostate is removed, there will not be any fluid coming out the tip of a penis during an orgasm. And even if a man cannot have a good erection, orgasms still can occur. Another video on the website will talk about ways to treat the side effects of this operation. So the bottom line is it's an excellent way to treat localized prostate cancer, but at the present time, there's no way to say if it's better, worse, or the same as the other options we have. We just don't have good studies that make it possible. If all the cancer cells are localized inside the prostate and you take it out, then you will be cured. And theoretically, we can say to patients, it's the most aggressive way to remove the, treat, the disease. But whether it's better than the other options is something that can't be stated at the present time. Now, if you do have the operation, it takes about four to six weeks, weeks to recover before you can resume all of your activities. But most men are up and around within just a few days. Following the operation, a small rubber tube called a catheter will be left through the penis inside the bladder. This removes urine while healing has occurred, and it stays anywhere from five days to two weeks, depending on the doctor and depending on how the case goes. There are benefits to doing an, in a, 
exercise prior to having the operation. We call them Kegel exercises, in which you strengthen or tighten the muscles that are around the urethra, and that way it can help improve urinary control faster after the operation. You can practice those in the shower by starting to urinate and then tightening your pelvic muscles so you're able to shut off the urinary stream. Studies have shown that that can be very helpful. So the bottom line is this is one of the surgical methods that we can use for men that have a confined prostate cancer. It's a good treatment. It has as its main disadvantage the possibility of losing more blood than the other methods available and it can result in a good quality of life depending on whether or not you regain your ability to have good urinary control and good sexual function. The best thing you can do is gather information about all the options available and then share the decision with your physician. Questions to ask your doctor include how many they do, how good their results are. You want to have actual results, numbers, percentages, the odds of getting a certain complication by the doctor who treats you, not being quoted the results of some expert somewhere else in the United States. If a doctor does not know the results, then you might consider getting a second opinion by someone who specializes in doing that operation. All you have to be concerned about is getting the best result possible. Hopefully you'll find this information useful as you plan your treatment. Thank you.